this is an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. We are on the visitor moorings at Wooden Rivers between lock 117 and 116. It's only a short pound. And in the background, you can see a blue boat. Well, that's the CRT boat, work boat. We've got one in the other side of the camera and you can see this here, they've been busy. And I'll show you what they've been up to. Well, here we are moored up at a very, very sunny Wootton Rivers. And for the first time, we have nobody on the visitor moorings with us. If you can see behind our boat, you can see some blue. That, uh, that is two Canal and River Trust work boats. If we walk down here, we can see what they've been up to. And this one is Kennet the Second, which is one of their platform boats. Transport a lot of stuff. If you look around here, you may remember in a previous vlog, all this was broken away. And they've been busy today by putting in all of this. And what they're going to be doing see where the bank is broken away. Oops, get myself out of shot. Where the bank is broken away, they are going to backfill this to one make the bank stable as it's completely breaking away now. It's really count more on this as we said in a previous vlog. And then all this bit here is going to be filled in so the path will be ineffectively twice as wide if not slightly wider than twice as wide but they've put all these in today and they're going to continue to work further on up so if we walk on up to the other work boat You see, just tilt that down. Look how far away it's come into the bank, into the towpath, which is not that wide now in some places. Breaking away, considering we've had a year off boating, really. Look how much, how badly damaged and eroded all this has become. So if anybody had to sidestep during lockdown and you stepped the canal side, chances are they could have lost their footing and it could have crumbled even more. Because it's a bit of a slope on the right hand side. Oops, sorry about that. example how far away that's eroded into the towpath I say that's going to be backfilled up to those posts to make it more secure but you won't be able to moor on here for quite some time until all this has been re-established got that 
nature take its uh, take its course as well. There are signs they've put up here, little signs here saying do not mow because of the bank erosion and the work being carried out. And this is the second work boat. And this is the one that's been doing all the work, banging in the posts. You see the posts on board. And that's been putting these posts in. So they've got up as far as this. We've got the stabilizers on the back. I think they're going to be carrying on down here because this is still quite poor here. And if we walk up to the next bridge, see this? There, you see bank erosion dropping in. There's lines here, so I would assume they're coming up. Gimbal turns round. There we go. And further up here is where they've done some previous work, which is still settling in. There's more marks on the ground here. More bank erosion. And it's not safe. Very crumbly. Some more markers. It's an absolutely gorgeous evening. It's uh, almost five o'clock. It's so beautiful. These, I'm not quite sure what plants these are. I will find out and I'll put them in. But it's been quite nice finding. Oh, there's more bank erosion. These little yellow plants here. Yeah, these. And up here is where they've worked on restoring this bank part of the pound. And as you can see, there's the edge there and the matting that goes all the way around. Whoops, sorry. Matting goes all the way around up here, and that, oh, I've got my finger, the, the darker green, where is my finger, darker green, that strip there is the old towpath, and all the brown here is where they've backfilled in. So this is what it's going to look like later on, as you can see, just the dark green on this side my finger that side of the path and then all of that is the filled in repaired and then if we go up to the bridge so this is um, lock 117 of the Wooden Rivers Pound so we've got one lock this end and one lock in front of us so it's only a very short pound but if you look down around this orange netting you can see look at the all broken away. That's not good, is it? So there's going to be some work to be done there. Not good. If I go up on and look down on the bridge, which I did earlier, hopefully you can see. The sun is not going to cause a problem, hopefully not. I can show you exactly how poor that bank is there, that side, and the bricks. I'll walk back over this way a bit more. Get the sun behind me. There. You see the damage there. So a lot of work's got to be done on this pound. And the 
pan around there, if the sun will allow me to show you, you can see the extent of the new bank, which is, where's my finger? Oh, hang on, which is, oops, that bit there, the darker strip. And then you can see the pilings that's going on the other side. There's a closer look at, let's just step down here a bit, if the sun will allow me. There's still a hole there that's going to be needed to be plugged. But yes, it takes a long time. If you can, I'm not sure if the sun can show you. The angle of the path where the new is, which is, where am I? All this is new here. It's all dipped still, so it's still got some awful lot of growing to do around this bit here. That's where the dip is. That's where the dip is here, all the way down here. Well, that's it for this week's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what the Kenelan River Trust are doing with the restoration of this part of the Kennet and Avon Canal. If you've enjoyed this video, Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. It is free. And why not join us on Patreon? Until next time, thanks for watching.